today i am going to tell you about the sextant and how you can measure angles with the sextant so before we start let's look at the parts of the sextant sextant is mainly divided into two parts one is a fixed portion and one is a movable part in the fixed portion you have a telescope and on the other end of the telescope there is a horizon mirror now the horizon mirror has two parts one is a clear glass and bottom half is a mirror so when you look through the telescope you can look at the target on the top half of the clear glass and the bottom half of the mirror it reflects the second object now on the fixed frame we got a graduated arc which is generally from 0 degree to 120 degree and each graduation mark is 1 degree and on the movable part you have a index arm this complete thing is the index arm and it can be only moved with the clamp pressed it releases a catch on the graduated arc and you can glide it over the graduated arc there is a mark on the inside of the index arm which actually indicates the reading of the graduated arc now in the index arm you also have a micrometer drum this is 0 to 60 minutes and each mark is 1 minute a full rotation of the micrometer drum will move the index arm by 1 degree on the graduated arc let us put the index arm at 0 degree on the graduated arc and make the micrometer drum also 0 degree now when you look through the telescope it looks to the target on the left hand side directly over the top clear glass and the same target will be reflected on the index mirror which has a pivotal point on the index arm and when you move the index arm the mirror is in the same place but it simply rotates now when you look through the telescope and to the object on the left you see directly through the clear glass and the object is also reflected by this mirror and then it goes back to the horizon mirror and then reflects back to the observer now in angle measurement in horizontal angle measurement please remember you have to look at the left target first you got a two targets one of the left and one on the right okay you want to measure the angle between the two targets so you look on the left hand target keep it on the clear view and slowly move the index arm over the graduated arc and you see that the index mirror is also moving and when the index mirror is actually reflecting the second target on the right hand side it is reflected on the index mirror reflected back on the horizon mirror and coming through the telescope to the observer's eye so what you will see you have a left target and right target aligning with each other now you cannot actually align them properly with your index arm so leave the index arm and slowly move the micrometer drum to do a fine tuning and once both the objects are perfectly aligned you leave the micrometer drum and simply read out the reading from the graduated arc in degrees and in minutes from the micrometer drum and if you want to do a vertical angle measurement you simply have to hold the sextant vertically and through your telescope you have to look at the horizon and from the horizon you can rotate your index arm to find the interesting object that you want to measure and you can align them with the horizon and you can find the vertical angle to that object now with this sextant you can measure horizontal angle to do a gyro compass calibration to find your heading at sea if you are interested you can look at this video which i have discussed how to take a horizontal angle and find 
True heading at sea and do your gyro compass calibration. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below.